Okay, uh, next topic in sort of sprite land. Uh, I like to talk about tile maps because this sort of fits with our uh, animation and sprites and uh, style of game that we're kind of looking at here a little bit. So let's dive into working with tile maps. So in our game, we have we're kind of using this uh, tiny RPG uh, theme here, and I'm going to continue to use the tiny RPG uh, town. And I'm going to put together some sprite sheets and start using sprites within that. So let's get to it. So first off, let's take a look. We're going to have to look for some sprites. That's kind of the first thing. So let's look through the artwork. And you'll see that in artwork, uh, there is this tile set available. And the tile set is just a single file that has a whole bunch of uh, images in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tile map, excuse me, I'll use the sprite editor to kind of carve that up appropriately. Right? So click on the, the map, and we're going to choose multiple. And pixels per unit is 16. This is going to determine the overall sort of scale of the tile map. Uh, and it has a lot to do with you know how the resolution of the artwork was created to begin with. Right? So ballpark you know we're dealing with units of 16 here that's a pretty common size uh, the mesh type is going to be tight uh, we're not going to extrude the edges we are going to generate physics which is kind of cool so if we have things if we want to you know creating sprites that aren't necessarily square we will actually create some physics shapes based on that but in this case I think we're pretty much going to be pretty square all right so we see our tile set here and this one has already been divided up so we're going to go through the process again so we'll say all right we're going to do it according to grid by cell size and we know that the grid is 16 by 16 and we'll say delete the existing that's fine and go ahead and say slice you see not a heck of a lot happened in this case because it was basically set up the right way to begin with so we we'll say apply and we wind up with an appropriate tile set Right? You see the individual tiles, and they're basically, what they are, is some metadata that says, okay, within this particular bitmap, within this particular sheet, at an offset of 6480, and a, using a size of 16 by 16, that is tile set underscore 56. That's that particular sprite. Okay? The pivot is at its center, and so on and so on. You're not going to worry about too many other parts of here. So we can go ahead and we can close that. Now it has been appropriately sliced and you can see all the individual parts there. Okay. Now to use it, we're going to need to take one more step, which is we're going to take 2D and we're going to use, we're going to create basically a tile palette. Now, if you notice, this one's already been created. So I'm going to go step through the process again for you here as well. I'm going to create a new tile palette. We're going to call this a uh, tiny RPG 2. And uh, was that a caps lock problem there? I think so. Tiny RPG 2. All right. And we'll say, yep, it is a rectangular grid, cell size automatic, create. You'll see it's going to want to ask me, it's going to, it's going to ask me where I want to put it. So I'll go to uh, palettes and I will create a new folder called tiny RPG 2 and I'll open that it has nothing in it yet and select that folder now it's going to create all the metadata that's associated with that or at least decide it's going to put the metadata in there when I do start creating things there's no tile sprites or sprite textures associated with it yet so I'm going to grab the tile set grab it by the whole sheet so it's going to import it with everything sort of intact there the spacing as well. If I just wanted to import the individual tiles, I could drag them as a group that way, but in this case I really want to keep them kind of put in the right spots. Um, you'll see what I mean in just a second. So if I say palettes, and we'll go to tiny RPG2, select folder, and now it's really generating all of the tile assets here. right? All the metadata that Unity will use to keep track of them. And because I dragged it as a file, you'll see, yep, it kept things together, kept them the right way, right? Otherwise, if I just added them as a group of tiles, it would just jam them all together and they would be all packed in, and which 
maybe I don't want to have. All right, so now I have my tile map, my tile palette, I should say. And we'll shrink this down just a bit. You can see what's going on. Now, in order to use it, I'm going to have to come over to my scene, and I'm going to create a 2D object, which is a tile map. And when I create a tile map, it actually does it creates two things for me. First, it creates a grid that I can put the tiles on, and then the tile map, which is really where the tiles are. Okay. Now, you'll notice in this case, now say I grab, oh, I don't know, I'm going to grab this whole thing and put it right here. And there is my character. And let's see, let me grab the top here. Maybe I'm going to repeat that. And maybe that size works. Maybe that size doesn't work. I can do things like rescale my tile map, independent of the other things in my scene. So I can further kind of change things around, and so on. All right. So say I wanted to put some water here, put the water, and so on. Uh, if I wanted to use this whole section of road, I could do that. Or I could drag certain parts of it, like say I wanted to add on here. And maybe add on to the top, and let's see. I'm going to have a curve, and it'll go off to the right here. And let's see, do I have another curve handy? Yep, I do. This one, and that will go off to the left sort of thing. All right, so when we go into our game, there's our character in the middle, and our character can still walk. Notice it kind of blinks. Well, why is that? Well, that's because the character and the tile map are at the same depth in our scene. So we can do something like if we put the tile map in front, that's what happened. We'll put, make sure to put the, we'll push the tile map to the back. And now our character will do the right thing. So that's the first basic part of using tile maps, strictly using them as graphics. What you can also do is use tile map colliders uh, and to use them, you know, to really kind of create a more complex environment that the character will interact with. And we'll cover that as we uh, in another video.